Hello everybody, welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Model Car Show. And today we are going to be taking a look at one of the model cars that I did in a review video. And that is our 1939 Ford two-door kit. Now this was the video that I reviewed, of course, but this model kit has been around since 1963 or two. Somewhere back then, believe it or not, very long time ago. And it was part of the original AMT Trophy series, which had the, on the Ford models interchangeable engines between all the Trophy series kits. So today we are going to be taking a look at this yellow 1939 era Ford that I built up. Because of course that kit you can build is either a 39 or a 40. And this one I've had for a very long time. So without further ado, let's go down to the bench and I will show you exactly how and when I built this. Here we have the first of the series for my rainbow colored 1939 40 Fords. Now this one here I painted with a brush. I was making this thing back in like when I was about 10 years old or something. So this is my first attempts at building models and uh, you can't really see too well but this is quite streaky from the brush. I didn't use any primer just painted testers yellow right over the top. There is a lot of hair in this paint I don't know what was quite going on back in those days. But again, one of the model kits that I would take and show my grandma uh, back at her place. As you can see, I've got sort of a mixture here. 39 grill and hood, but 40 Ford um, headlights. Didn't quite know what these looked like back in the day. Also got the 40 Ford Chevron uh, tail lamps here and no door handle for the back so i don't know what you want to call this sort of quasi custom but anyway the interior is brown the model kit was originally molded in brown and it's got dark brown uh, testers paint in there as well as a white horn now that we have our yellow car here in the overhead shot let's just remove the hood and take a look at what i did on that engine back in the day now here you got our Ford, I do believe this was the 85 horsepower at this stage in the game. Uh, now, I did try to paint all the little bolt heads on this firewall and kind of got a bit of a blob going on here. Not too sure what that's about. The engine is painted gray this time around with the white spark plugs, a flat black air cleaner and hoses. They all line up onto the radiator, which is nice and everything can fit together easily. Again, this is part of the trophy series, so if you wanted different engines in here, they all mount up in the same way at the same engine location mounting points. So that was always quite the cool thing about the trophy series. I could put in other Ford flatheads from other models, or I could put in the custom motors, which were like the Buick motor, the Pontiac, the Chryslers, all kinds of things. They all fit underneath in the same way. Now turning our car upside down, you can see sort of where my painting skills and whatnot were back in the day. The whole entire underpan is painted flat black. This would have been done with a brush, believe it or not. Got our fuel cell, which I do believe is molded to the floorboards. There's our Ford rear axle. This of course is the stock ride height in the back. In the front, I used the dropped axle because it was chrome and I didn't have to paint it. Uh, little did I know that this is a custom piece and not a stock one. <laughs> so you got sort of that nose in the weeds look from the 80s, maybe 70s going on there. Uh, didn't paint the exhaust pipe or anything like that. But again, I was about 8 or 10 years old, something like that. So I don't think it's too bad of a job. Again, there's your mold marks. So remember to... Uh, remove those with sandpaper for a better look.
Well, I hope you enjoyed our look at the 1939 Ford two-door sedan. Two-door, T-U-D-O-R. <laughs> nice little kit that I built a very long time ago when I was young. And uh, if you've built this in the past, tell me how you did it. Because, of course, you could build this as either stock, custom, or race. So I'd like to know how you did it. And if you want to share pictures of it, don't forget our Facebook page. I'll leave the link in the description down below. So next week we have another one of these great cars in the Rainbow series. So I hope you will stay tuned and see how I did them. And until next time, everybody, happy model building. Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, because, well, YouTube is... it We are monetized. YouTube does pay us, but it's sort of up and down based on views. If you'd like to support us with something a little more steady, visit our Patreon account like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. It's uh, pretty easy. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building. <laughs>